fundamental ferocity. Alex Pereira technical breakdown. Pereira is obviously going to be challenging Israel Adesanya in the trilogy bout, but this time in mixed martial arts in the main event of UFC 281. You're going to see here in Pohatan Pereira's MMA debut, he's fighting a southpaw and he's going to use that long reach to fake and faint and get the southpaw to circle towards that left side. Um, obviously trying to get that lead left outside foot. You'll see right there with the right high kick, he's again just getting the opponent to circle towards the weak side, which is his lead right side, into the left hook of Pohatan Pereira, which is obviously his best and most deadly strike. Even here against the cage, controlling the lead hand and throwing a front kick up the middle to push him up against the cage and again get him to move into the left hook like you'll see right there. Um, but the opponent goes for a takedown, but he's able to use an underhook and then frame off to defend the takedown and actually turn the opponent and land some knees to the body. You'll see a right knee there, a left knee up top, and then another knee, which is going to go ahead and drop the opponent right to the body. Here you're going to see Pereira's opponent try to land a lead right hook to get the outside foot on the orthodox fighter in Pereira. But Pereira again is just controlling the range, controlling the distance, getting the opponent to either circle into a right high kick or the teep kick up the middle to move him back and then move towards his lead right side to get caught with a left hook. But here Pereira is going to switch it up and throw a wheel kick right to the head of the opponent. The opponent grabs it, gets to the body lock and goes to the over under position to try to get a takedown. Again, lead hand control, getting the outside foot, boom. Left hook, frame off with the rear right hand, and he's gonna go with more knees to the body and then break off on the clinch. Just circling to his lead left side, getting the left outside foot and getting the opponent to circle into the money shot or the kill shot, which is the left hook. There's a right high kick again. That's just gonna move the opponent to his lead right side and again, get him to circle into the left hook. He fainted it there. The opponent shot a takedown, but Pereira was wise to it. Again, it's all to circle him into the money shot, the kill shot in the lead left hook. Fakes and faints, one, two down the middle. Boom, left hook right over the lead jab of the opponent. Here you're gonna see a beautiful setup. Lead left, outside low kick to the lead leg of the opponent. Measure, follow up with obviously what we talked about earlier, the right high kick to get the opponent to commit and move into the bang, lead left hook. Dead on arrival, one hitter quitter, the kill shot. But this combination is beautiful, he's boxing him in. Left high kick or left low kick gets the opponent to circle towards their left into the right high kick, which again circles them into the lead left hook. You're, but he's boxing you in, he's cutting you off, and he's getting you stuck in a square of chaos. Here we're not really going to talk about the setups, but it was obviously a faint right switch lead left knee. He faints the right knee to get the opponent to maybe lower their level and then move right in to the lead left knee. Faint. Gets the opponent to move their head, boom, right into the kill shot, which is the lead left knee. The switch knee is a set of misdirection to circle you into the optimal weapon. Faint the right knee to get them to move their head into your left knee, which is the lead side, and land a clean KO on Andres Mihailidis. Now, going up against his first ranked opponent in Sean Strickland, he has a very tall, upright boxing stance, which makes his legs closer together than a traditional kickboxing or wrestling stance. So you saw Pereira go with the right outside low kick on the lead leg, and then the lead switch left body kick. Here you're going to see a jab, and he's going to circle to his left, and then a jab to the body. The jab to the body is to get the opponent to bite on the feint, and then either parry away or lower the level into the jab which is going to open up that same side lead left hook, which is obviously Pereira's best shot to the head as they go to the body. During this sequence, you're going to see Strickland move forward with his own lead jab, and you're going to see Pereira pull and then circle ever so slightly to that lead left side. He's again just boxing Strickland in, whether it's with a right low kick, a lead left switch kick to the body, a straight right hand, or a left hook. Everything is set up to get him to move into the left hook, and you see Strickland is expecting a kick, so he picked up that lead left leg to check, even though the kick didn't come, and then used it to set up the teep kick to the body. Strickland is biting on the lead hand feints of Pereira and trying to parry them away, which allows him to set up a right hand, and then again, the left jab to the body. Strickland goes with a lead left high kick, which is going to negate that power right hand, but then again, the same weapons we've talked about. 
the right low kick, the lead left jab, again, just circling ever so slightly to his left. It's more of the same here. You see Strickland try to catch Pereira with a left hook, but again, he's just inching his way to his lead left side using the left switch kick to the body, which is going to block that right hand there Strickland tries to go with a jab Pereira is going to parry it away with the lead side and then go with his own jab as he continues to inch his way ever so slightly to the lead left side these small little half steps and half beats are just circling him to his left to set up the weapon in the lead left hook which you'll see right there but Strickland's wise to it and blocks it with the right hand Continuing the trend, moving to his right, and then stepping in, circling to his left. But you'll see Pereira will move backwards before he circles to really maintain the distance. It's just a little small detail that I think a lot of people may gloss over. And as you just saw, the jab to the body, and then he's going to come over the jab of Strickland with the overhand right, which again would circle him into the left hook. And like we talked about, he's going to step back on the jab of Strickland, and then eventually circle after that back step to maintain the distance and then go with his own jab. See how Strickland saw the leg kick or thought the leg kick was coming? That's going to set up the finish. And here is the right low kick from Pereira on the very closed off boxing heavy or just upright stance. And he's again inching his way to the left and fighting off the power hand. Here you're going to see again he's going to grab 1-2. And then he's going to slightly move to his left and establish that jab to the body, which is going to set up the feint and then land the lead left hook, which is the kill shot in this fight. Boom! See how Strickland went to parry it, thinking it was a jab to the body with the right hand, and then Pereira follows up with the two right hands behind it to get the TKO victory. And that is my technical breakdown on the striking of Alex Pohatan Pereira inside the UFC in his MMA career as he goes into his trilogy bout with Adesanya at UFC 281. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and like, comment, and subscribe.